is by the most blessed Virgin Mary that Jesus Christ has come into the world. And it is by her that he must reign in the world. The plan adopted by the three persons of the Blessed Trinity in the Incarnation, the first coming of Jesus Christ, is adhered to each day in an invisible manner throughout the Church until the last coming of Jesus Christ. Mary, daughter of God the Father, mother of God the Son, and spouse of the Holy Spirit, is full of grace. She cannot make her residence in souls as God ordered her to do, and as their mother, form, nourish, and bring them to eternal life unless she has a right and a domination over souls by a singular grace of the Most High. And so we call her the Queen of all hearts. She is God the Father's most rich treasury in which he has laid up all that is beauty and splendor. It is by air that God the Son applies his merits to his members, and that he communicates his virtues and distributes his graces. God the Holy Spirit has chosen her to be the dispenser of all he possesses. Of all God's creatures, Mary is the most conformed to Jesus. The more one is consecrated to Mary, the more one is consecrated to Jesus. That is why the perfect consecration to Jesus is but a perfect and complete consecration of oneself to the Blessed Virgin. <laughs>